This video is going to go through and help you with creating a V block shape utilizing the loft feature within Autodesk Inventor. The loft function is one that's going through and is usually one of the more complicated ones students experience for the first time out and this is the one where I'm going to go through and help you kind of create this part as we look and go along. So this is the kind of shape we're going to have and some cases you know extrusions can go through and edit but actually we're going to use something known as the loft function in order to create a block so here on this I'll go through and I'll take a look and they want us to create a rectangular block that's two and a half wide by one and a half inches tall and extrude it out to be a value of one and a half inches deep so as I take a look I've already sketched a rectangular um, shape constrained to the origin and to the appropriate dimensions I'm going to finish the sketch and I'll go ahead and extrude out to be at that 1.5 extrusion depth as we work. Now what the lot feature requires is that we go through and we have two sketches in order to go through and create. So in this part, as I scroll down, they want us to go through and create a sketch on the front face of the V block and a sketch on the back face and then what ends up happening with the loft feature is it will connect the two sketches in order to cut out the profile as it goes backward. So it's a really neat feature that we'll go through and you'll take a look at. So I'm going to split my screen here to go through and to make this happen. And what I'll do is I'll click on Start 2D Sketch and I will choose the front of the block and follow the dimensions that we need. Now in most cases with your guys's uh, scenario you will already have yellow projection lines that show around the outside edge if you notice in the picture as well they show yellow projection lines around the outsides if you don't then you can click on the project geometry button and come down here like me and click down on the part and then that way you get that so it makes it a little easier and gives you some reference to go along so I'm going to create a triangle shape utilizing the line tool and I'm going to go through and just kind of draw this on the front. Now here's the thing, is that a lot of students will go through and they draw to the two lines, but don't forget to draw the third line and making sure you get the green dot at the end points of each line to make sure they connect. Constraints, as far as what we're going for is I'm going to go from the left side to the very point. So you want to make sure you click on the very point there, 0.25, and then same thing on the other side to be 0.25 and then from the bottom very point to the very bottom edge of the part 0.25 as well. Now here's what happens as they do go through and they show you here's some geometric constraints in order to make that happen. So when I go to under constraint I'm going to do a vertical constraint and then I'm going to click on the very very corner at the very bottom of our triangle very point and then I'll kind of roll along on the bottom edge of my part and when I hit the midpoint I'll see a green dot so when I see that green dot I want to click on it and then that way it'll go through and it will align vertically constrain the very point of my uh, triangle shape to the very midpoint of the line there on the block so once I'm done with that you'll notice the entire sketch will turn kind of blue or purple so kind of bluish in this case when I'm done it'll go, I can go through I can say finish sketch now in this case I need to go through turn around to the back side I'm going to keep the sketch as it is because I need another sketch to use the loft tool so I'll click around and at the very back I'll start a new sketch on the back face same scenario as before I'm going to click project geometry and then I'll go through and draw in a triangle I want to make sure to draw this one in smaller so the back triangle is smaller but not only that you got to be careful of hitting the same dimensions as you work as well. This one's going to have a little bit different dimensions from the edge to the very corner 0.5 and the same on the other side as well. From the bottom corner to the very bottom of the part 0.75 and then the same scenario with the vertical constraint very point edge and I'll align it to the very center. I'll right click and say OK and say finish sketch. Now as I click on the home button I'll go through and I'll take a look at the loft option so I'll come back to full screen here to to make this look a little bit closer to what you have. When you click on loft so loft shows up here next to revolve 
It has the same kind of options as an extrusion as far as cut or intersect or join. And we'll go through first, it's looking for sections or sketches to add. So I'll go through and I'll click on, you know, maybe a sketch that I have. So I can go through and I can click on the actual sketch in the part. And then I can go through and click on this, the shape here in the middle. So I get this kind of filled in. I'll turn around to the back as well. Look, I'll look to add another sketch in there as well. So now here's some things that may not happen. It is It may not let me to go through and choose a second sketch. But maybe what I have to do is up here, depending on um, you know what you've clicked on, you can click click to add and then I, I chose like the sketch here out of the browser and then I can choose the shape there. I'm going to go through and choose the cut option which it'll go through and show that as well and then I'll go through and click OK and it will go through and cut out and make the shape as well. So this goes through and concludes how to use the loft option or feature within Autodesk Inventor.